Hey there, Norman here from WoCode, and today in this video, we're going to build a mega menu example from our demo page. Now, we won't be explaining any specific widget options in this video. Uh, you'll want to check out our mega menu overview video for a full tutorial explaining all of the widget options. Today, we'll be looking at demo B from our demo example page, and a link to that will be in the description. Now, in our demo B, if we take a look at the features drop down, we'll see that we have a full width. We have three menu options, and each option has an image, a title, and a description. Now, this is what we're going to be recreating today, and at first glance, it may look difficult. However, with the power of item overrides and the item type of card within the Mega Menu widget, creating this type of menu is actually super easy and super fast. Uh, the majority of the setup is actually just styling. So let's go ahead and get started here and jump into the builder. The first thing that we're going to want to do is open up our pages panel and from in here we're going to want to create three pages. So we'll create our first page and title this feature A. Then we want to create a second page. We'll title this one feature B. And lastly, we'll create our third page and title this Feature C. All right, wonderful. Now let's go ahead and jump back to our home page here so we can see that menu again. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take those feature pages and drag them up underneath the feature page itself so that they are children pages of the features page. And I'll just quickly reorganize these. Wonderful. All right. So now one thing that we need to do before we jump into the widget itself and start making some edits is we have to quickly refresh the page. Uh, the builder can auto refresh and after making an adjustment to the pages panel, the mega menu requires a quick refresh to update itself to display those changes. So now that we have an update, we can see here that those pages are now displaying inside the features page as a drop down. So we can go ahead and open up the mega menu widget here. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and locate the menu item overrides option. We're going to create a new item override. We're going to open that overrides, scroll to the top here. We're going to link this to the features page. Next, we're going to come down to drop down mode. We're going to set this to full width. And then we're going to change the drop down direction to center. And we're going to change the item columns to three. Now, what we've just done with that is we've told the mega menu, okay, so display everything in the features pages drop down full width in three columns and center everything. So now what we can do is we scroll down to the bottom. We're going to need to create three more item overrides for each one of those feature pages, features A, B, and C that we created. So we're going to click item override one, two, and three. Next, we're going to open up the first item override on that list that we just created. We're going to scroll to the top. We're going to change this to be linked to feature A. Uh, next, we're going to change the item type to card. We're going to come down here to drop down width, and we're going to change that to 500. And then we're going to change the drop down direction to center. Next, we're going to scroll down and locate the item height. We're going to keep that at 250. We're going to change the content vertical alignment to bottom. We're going to grab our background image here, which we already have uploaded. Next, we'll scroll down. We'll make sure that the display item title is enabled. And then for the item description, we're just going to grab some lorem ipsum and paste that in there. And then lastly, we're going to enable background overlay. OK, wonderful. So what we're going to do then is we're going to copy these settings to these two overrides uh, with the important part being linking to page. So for the second one, we're going to link to B. 
And then for the third one, we're going to link to C. So I'm going to go ahead and update those real quick, and I will be right back. All right, so I just finished updating those other two cards. And what we did was we used the same settings as the first one, with the exception being that we linked the second item override to feature B. And we linked the third override to feature C, as well as both of those have their own images. So now let's go ahead and jump into the design tab and go over the styling for this demo. So the styling for this demo, because this is a pre-existing site, is already applied. But we're going to run through those settings anyways, just so you can see how it was set up in case you're following along with the tutorial. So the first thing that we're going to want to jump into is our top level container styling. Now in here, we have the menu alignment set to right, and we have the first drop down offset set to 10. Those are the settings you're going to want to focus on in the top level container styling. Next, if we jump into our top level item styling, you'll see that we have an item horizontal margin of 20. We have an item horizontal padding of 8. If we scroll down, we'll locate the parent indicator color, and we have that set to gray. If you're following along with the tutorial, that hex code is A3A3A3. From here, if we scroll down, we locate the item title style. We'll see that we have the font as Hebo, font size is 14. We have the font color as a gold. The hex code for that is EDBF42. We have the font format bold disabled. And then from here, if we scroll down to the item hover slash active, we have the font as Hebo again, the font size as 14, the font color as gold again, and the font format bold disabled. So next, let's go down to our drop down container styling. We have the drop down side offset to zero. We have the full width drop down side margin to 5. We have the vertical margin to 10. We have the horizontal margin to 20. Now, if we scroll down to the drop down background, we have the background set to a dark purple. The hex code for that is 21202B. If we scroll down, we have a border color set to none. We have a drop down border width set to 24. If we come down here, we have our a drop down shadow enabled. And here we have the shadow offset to 16, the shadow horizontal offset to 10, the shadow blur at 25, and we have the shadow color set to light gray, which is 21202B and an opacity of 21%. Next, let's open up our drop-down card type located right here. And then in here, we're going to set our item horizontal padding to 50. We're going to set our overlay background color to a dark gray which is going to be hex code 141414 with an opacity of 49%. We're going to go down to our title margin bottom and we're going to set that to 3. We're going to scroll down below that and we're going to set our font to Hebo, our font size to 22, our font color to white, our font format set it to bold, We'll set our item hover color to white. Below that, we'll locate our item description textile, font Hebo once again, font size 16, font color is white with a 55% opacity. And then down here at the bottom, we have our item hover description color to white. Now that we have our styling complete, let's go ahead and preview. All right, everything is looking great. And we can see that we have our rollover colors and our background images. And if we take a look at the original demo, we can see that it matches up perfectly. And that is a wrap on demo B. Be sure to check out the other setup example videos to learn how to create more awesome looking mega menus and to discover more menu item override types and features.
And if you want to learn more about the individual settings in the widget menu, check out our menu overview video. Until next time, my name is Norma Durkee, and you're rocking with the best website builder platform on the planet, wocode.com. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. We're always here to help.